Hey YouTube, Law here. Just wanted to share with you another megawad that I found uh, that's been up for a while. It's called Zeppelin Armada. We're also using two other mods, one of them being uh, Doom Slayer 1887 and Craig Craigsland Enemies. And so the 1887 is a gameplay mod that just gives you a very steampunk like arsenal of weapons that I thought was really fitting for this mod. And the Craigsland mod is a monster pack that adds a bunch of Nazis to the game that you can that you can kill. Uh, I tried a couple other monster packs with Zeppelin Armada, but I think this one really fits uh, the aesthetic at least more so than the other ones that I tried. This uh, Zeppelin Armada Megawad also has a little story and you can talk people and I think they, this uh, Megawad has a HUD hub as well that you can go and travel to which we're in ex right now. So let's get started and I'll show you around the mods. So you talk to this lady, get a bunch of text, I'm not going to read it. Uh, for the sake of keeping the video short, but if you want to pause the video, go ahead. That's right. You come in here, you go upstairs, get the key. And you can talk to this lady right here and she'll give you a bunch of lore about the uh, wad and kind of create uh, the atmosphere. Just come over here and hit use. And then we go to the exit. And once again, you can talk to her. Kind of scroll through this kind of quickly. And then you're off to the first level. I'm going to play the first two levels of the campaign. This gun actually has a mechanic that uh, makes it so you can't continuously hold down the trigger or else the gun overheats, makes like a hissing noise. So that's pretty cool. I really enjoy the monster pack that I chose for this uh, megawad. I tried to find a better one, but this one is the one I settled on. And there's a couple reasons why that I'll talk about later in the video. Here, hit the lever. Kill that guy. <clears throat> and we'll get the secret here and move on. So that's the shotgun. This is the replacement for the chain gun. And this is the replacement for the plasma gun. Pretty cool. Uh, weapons. Most of the guns for this Doom Slayer 1887 mod have alternate fires. Thought it was done over here. Apparently not. Yeah. 
and big ambush. You can also add a gore mod. I would recommend Balganese gore mod or Nash gore or the gore mods if you want to add them or not. I don't have them enabled because I I don't feel like they're necessary for this uh, mega wad. But if you really, really don't like Nazis, and trust me, I don't like them. And you can add a, a nice core mod to the list. Those guys in the white coats, I think, are supposed to be scientists. And there's our first mechanized unit. And there's the first level, or first real level anyway. Disclaimer, I have played these levels before just for the sake of uh, keeping the video short and to the point. Also, there is no jumping or crouching allowed, I believe. This megawatt. Mainly because it, it breaks the map and uh, just not recommended. And this is the super super shotgun. This also has an alternate fire where you can have two out at the same time. Pretty sure I got the, yeah, the, the flamethrower. I believe this is the replacement for the rocket launcher. Pretty cool that the enemies have a burning animation when they get on fire. Now, one downside to using the Doom Slayer 1887 mod with the Craigslin enemies is the Craigslin enemies, the robots, are actually immune to fire from what I've seen so far and what I've tested. I don't know if that's intended or it's a bug or what, but none of the robotic enemies take damage from fire attacks. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Thought I'd grab the uh, blue key. Actually, let me grab this uh, machine gun ammo and that health pack. And there's our first robotic enemy. And just to prove what I'm saying, I'll shoot it with the flamethrower. So, as you can see, not really doing anything. So, that's one uh, downside to using the 1887 mod. You gotta. Just be careful with your ammo and try to save the flamethrower for the easier units.
There's the blue key. Where do we go from here? Grab this armor. And this is definitely a flamethrower area. Check if there's a secret behind here, and there is. I think the blue key is over here somewhere. Got another robotic enemy. I think the robots really fit the uh, atmosphere of the steampunk Zeppelin Armada uh, Megawad. I think they're a nice little touch from the enemy pack. Or a monster pack, I mean. Alright, we've got the blue key. I think we need to go over here. Whoa! Forgot about that guy. And the sawed off shotguns made quick work of him. Get out the plasma rifle. Man, that guy's moving awfully fast. Stand still so I can kill you, please. Right, let's go over here and grab the secret. Missed it. Oh, we are taking a lot of damage. Get the health pack real quick. Go. And I missed it. Oh my god, come on. Come on, game. And we're gonna have to kill this thing. To get our armor pickup that's in there. And they're having a party in there, all that talking. Craig's the monster pack for this uh, mod that I'm using, Craigslin, is actually uh, Wolfenstein. Uh, most of the enemies are like from a Wolfenstein mod, I think. So that's why they're all speaking German. Plus they're Nazis, so...
That was a lot of enemies. All right, we've got the red key. I kill the sky over here. I don't know where there he is. With a shotgun. Switch to the machine gun. And we're overheated. Finally, you're, you died. You did so much damage to me. Holy crap. Get out the flamethrower again. I thought there was going to be people there. Got the red key. This part is a little sketchy up ahead. I just gotta be careful. Guns overheating. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but took a ton of damage there. Flamethrower out again. The flamethrower also has an alternate fire. Shoots a little flame ball. Think there's any secrets over there? Kill you, and then we're done here. And it brings you to this little cutscene that you can read if you'd like. I'll go through it slowly. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching and stay tuned for more.